Hi, I'm Jeff Hemmel from Boating Magazine, and today I'm aboard Bennington's 23 LSB. Now the L series is the second up in Bennington's four-tier model lineup. It combines a lot of the same luxurious features you've come to expect from the brand, but at a more affordable price point. Now one of the first things you'll notice about any Bennington is the luxurious vinyl. Now they use Simtex. That gives it a more fabric-like feel. It's cooler to the touch. It's also really durable. Now if you look at the recessed lumbar pockets, you've got a nice diamond pattern that just adds a nice sense of contrast. One of the other nice things about these pockets is they're a great place to store a phone. You'll also appreciate that Bennington has two USB charger ports. One of those ports is a fast charge system for newer technology phones. The cutaways also make it easier to lift out the seats, and you don't have the typical wear that you would get if it butts up against another cushion. Below, the DuraFrame roto-molded seat bases are low maintenance. They feature gutters and drains that drain the water away so your gear within doesn't get damp. They're also perfectly color matched to the vinyl above. Another feature is the recessed toe kick at the base of the seats. There's a handy trash can located behind the port seat back. You'll also appreciate standard portable cup holders. Now they integrate perfectly into those lumbar cutouts, keeps them nice and secure. An overlooked feature of the lumbar pockets is that they also increase the seat's width. Now that's great if you wanna recline and stretch out. Moving to the helm, we've got attractive zebra wood slate inset panels, a standard deluxe stainless steel tilt wheel, analog gauges, but you can upgrade that to a Simrad G07 like on our test boat or a Garmin. Two other nice features at the helm are these cutouts. They're a great spot to put a phone and they've also got drains to keep water at bay. The console storage is also lockable. The Rockford Fosgate stereo is Bluetooth ready. Now to port, I wanna draw your attention to this trapezoid table. It could just be traditional wood grain like most manufacturers, but Bennington literally popped a mold off an actual piece of wood so that the actual table has a real wood grain feel to it. It's lightweight, made of closed cell foam. It also floats. Another feature is the Swingback Plus Lounge. Now, in its standard trim, it's an L-shaped lounge, but swing the backrest over. You've got a rear-facing reclining sun pad. Remove this side seat. Pivot the seat back all the way down, and you've got a large sun pad. You can also pivot up the aft-facing cushions to make a forward-facing recliner. The entire area is surrounded by this stainless steel keeper rail for security. On the swim platform, you'll also appreciate the boarding ladder. Now it's curved like an S and kind of angles out into the water. Now basically that just makes it a lot easier to haul yourself back aboard. There's also plenty of room if you're gearing up for water sports. One option I'd suggest for water sports enthusiasts is this stainless steel ski tow bar. Some of the options on our test boat include the Blackout Lux package. Now that Blacks out the skirting, the rails, the deck trim, the bimini, and the ladder. Just gives the boat a really classy look. You can also choose the exterior panels. Now standard, it comes in a crimped pattern. You can also choose to make that smooth or even alternate the panels so that you have a combination of both. Standard accent lighting is blue ice. Now there's also an additional 13 choices of RGB colors you can choose to light your choice of the speakers, the tow kick, the cup holders, exterior, side panels, and even underwater. As to the performance of this boat, it was outfitted with Bennington's SPS Performance System. Now that stands for Sports Performance System. You have three 25 inch round tubes. There's a newly designed lifting strike pattern on both sides of the inner tube. Now that adds stability and increases the top speed. You also have lifting strikes on the inside of each outer tube. The result is a spirited handling boat. It's a lot of fun to drive. One more advantage of that center tube is that you can have a deep ski locker in the center of the boat. If you're looking to experience Bennington's luxury feel, but at a more affordable price point, you owe it to yourself to check out Bennington's 23 LSB. For Boating Magazine, I'm Jeff Hamill.